Design your own Facebook ad with this Learn by Doing tutorial. Facebook ads are an effective marketing tool that is easy to learn. On the right is an ad from my Facebook feed. On the top is what's called Social Proof, a listing of friends and other people I know on Facebook that have either downloaded or liked this product. Next down is the logo. You see the G and Grammarly. Uh, Grammarly is a product um, that I highly recommend and I am not an affiliate of those, but it is a good product. After Grammarly, you know, the logo and the name, comes your text. Um, this is the customer pain point. Why should somebody even consider this product? You're trying to get at that emotion. That is followed by the picture. In this case, a video ad. It was in the middle of running, so it isn't the greatest picture, but they did a good job with this ad. Below the video is the headline. Um, your writing at its best uh, is an effective, effective headline because it gets your attention and it kind of gives you the benefit of what you would get from this product. Underneath is more text uh, that explains the headline. Um, the fact that it's trusted by millions is very powerful. And finally, on the right, you see a call to action. In this case, it's learn more. This is a good Facebook ad. As you go through this, make sure to keep track of your audience, uh, how you segmented your audience, and finally, capture the final ad. Now let's walk through creating the ad itself. Open your Facebook. In the upper right hand side, located on the status bar, you'll see a question mark. Next to the question mark is a drop down menu. You click the triangle and you'll see the menu as displayed here. Go two thirds down and click on create ads. Facebook offers a number of advertising objectives. Pretty much they're based on the social media funnel. For our purposes, we are developing a new product and start at the top of the social media funnel with an awareness ad. Click on brand awareness, then scroll down and enter the name of the campaign you are running. Uh, if you have multiple ads or you're running A-B testing, this is a very good way to keep them straight. Once done, click set up account. The next page sets up the basic information. Verify that your country is correct and currency is correct. I had to adjust the time zone to East Coast, which Facebook calls New York. The Facebook audience feature is awesome and the most powerful part of the ad creation. One of the big ones is location. This is very important for a local small business because it allows you to target by city. Uh, this feature may also be used by larger uh, organizations looking to target countries or different locations along those lines. Second is the detailed targeting. This is where you could enter your psychographics. Uh, we have developed a list when we went over the persona uh, but now is the time to include it into Facebook. On the right, notice the audience size. It starts out with about 230 million people. As you enter more and more segments, your audience size will decrease. The idea is your click-through rate will become a lot more efficient and wind up costing you less in advertising. Here is an example of some targeting I did. I entered a great age group from 18 to 45, and for my demographics, I entered education and under that college students. So that brought my uh, total down to 2.5 million, or about 1% of the total. Uh, by avoiding everybody that's not going to click on my ad, technically it should decrease my advertising cost. On the bottom of this audience page, you will set your budget. So knowing your audience and targeting as tightly as possible saves your organizational money while improving your conversion rate. Click continue to advance to the next page. On this page, we will choose the format. 
for our purposes, we're going to choose the single image. But Facebook offers a number of good choices. You can do a carousel of pictures, a single image, you can do video, you can download an app. Uh, all are very powerful. In addition, the Mine button uh, would be where you would enter your corporate name and logo. You have to invest real money to make this change, but you would just click on the plus sign and upload it. For our purposes, we will leave it as is. Secondly, notice the Add an Account button with the Instagram logo. This is where you would change to create an Instagram account. To do an Instagram ad, your organization would need an advertising account. Since we're only doing a mock ad, we will skip this step. This page is long, so I have split it into two slides on my presentation. This is where you populate your ad with your information. Text on top is where you enter your pain point. Uh, next down, you se select an image and upload it from your computer or your drive. Uh, next down is your headline. Um, we went over headlines, but you want something catchy to grab attention. And after the headline, you start answering the customer benefit. What's in it for them? As you scroll down the page, you'll see you can add a URL address. This is your landing page. When somebody clicks on your ad, where do you want them to go on your website? Underneath that is a call to action. You always want a call to action. What do you want the consumer to do next? Never assume the consumer will connect the dots on their own. Uh, the call to action menu provides many choices. Let's use something like learn more. I have entered some information on the left so you can see how it appears on the right. Um, pretty straightforward, and that's my dog, Jack. Make sure to screen capture your mock ad, in addition to recording how you segmented the audience and uh, your audience size. From a PC, use the control alternate print and then you paste it into something like a paint program. A uh, similar function on the Mac. I use a desktop app called Snagit. Uh, there are free and paid versions. I recommend this app. If for the ad type we had gone past carousel and video, we could have selected an Instagram ad. So I just redid this ad really quickly as an Instagram. And once again, you could see what it would look like. Now, try your own.